Hello, John here again and welcome to another of my Toon Boom Harmony animation tutorial videos. In this series, which I've called Basics, I am showing you how to make a, an animation in Toon Boom Harmony from scratch. Now this is the fourth video in this series and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut out our character. So in the previous videos I've shown you the kind of interface, I've then drawn Batman, coloured Batman and now I'm going to be cutting him out ready for rigging in the next video. Okay, so let's get cracking. Um, the first bit of a bit advice that I would give is that when you're working on a character that you're going to use heavily in your animation, I would advise that you break him down or cut him out into as many layers as possible. And obviously the more layers you have, the more flexibility you have during your animation. Because the worst thing is that you get halfway through an animation and you want to do something but you can't because the rig's not advanced enough. So my advice for, the, um, for, the, for this type of character is to break him down as much as possible. Now the sort of breakdown cutting out process is really, really simple. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is here in the camera view, I'm going to go up to my um, select tool and drop down to cutter. Now what you want to do is you want to put as many of these pieces you can see on the screen here, like his eyes, his nose, his mouth, onto, onto new drawing layers. So to do that, I'm going to just use my cutter tool. Over in the tool properties window, you have a few options. And you can either use a marquee tool, which is the kind of square box option, or you can use the lasso, which obviously gives you enough to draw around a certain area. And the cutter tool obviously cuts a section of the drawing out. So in this case, I'm simply going to, say, take this eye here. I'm going to draw around the eye and select that section with the cutter. I'm then going to do Command-8 on the keyboard, or you can go up to Edit, Create Drawing from Drawing Selection. OK, so do that. And this little window pops up. And this means you, it will move what you've selected onto a new drawing layer, which you can name here. So I'm going to call this Batman, and then I'm going to call it number one, because I always call the left-hand side of my screen, or his right-hand side, number one. And then I'm going to put I. And now the option here is cut artwork from source. Now this is really handy if you are doing a jointed arm, for example, or a jointed leg. Um, but for this situation, I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to leave that unchecked and press OK. And now you'll notice down here in our timeline we've got our Batman layer and now Batman 01i. So if, if I go to my drawing layer, you'll see that if, if I'm on the eye layer, it's just the bit that I've just cut out a second ago, and Batman is still the full picture, which is what we want. So going back to our Batman again, I'm going to cut out the other eye. So I'm going to select that on the Batman layer, Command 8 and then I'm going to change that to number 2 for the other side of the face and click OK. And simply I'm going to go back to my Batman layer again, maybe do the nose this time. So just do a rough circle around it, select this one and call this nose. Obviously there is no one or two here, just nose. And that is basically the simple principle of cutting out. We're going to go through and cut as many pieces out as possible. So what I'll do is I will go through this, I'll speed this bit up, I'll cut out all the bits, and then at the end I'll come back and show you what I've cut out. Okay, so I've now cut out Batman into all the pieces that I need. So I'll just quickly go through them with you on the drawing layer so you can see them individually. If I start from the top, we have the eyes on different layers, we have the nose, the chin, and the mouth shape, which is the same currently as the chin, the badge, we have the two ear, the two ears pointing at the top, and then we have the different belt boxes. I've put each box this connected to the belt on a separate layer. 
like so. So they'll be all exactly the same at the moment. And then the belt itself. And then we have the hands and the arms. They're currently, currently messed up, but they'll get there in a, in a minute. The foot and the legs and the cape, which hasn't worked. I need to do that one again. Let's get rid of that. That doesn't look good. So I'll go to this layer and redo that. So Batman, select the area with the cape. And as I've already created the cape layer, if I just find the cape and click on it, and then click OK, it will, it will move it to there now. So that's the cape layer. And then again, we've got the other feet as well. And obviously our Batman drawing at the beginning. So once you've cut out all the sections, you'll see that obviously they're quite a mess, aren't they? So what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do now is go through them and tidy that or clean up my drawings. So to do that, I'm going to use the select tool and the cutter tool. And basically, you go through and just get rid of all the extra stuff that's on that image that you don't need. So for example, with this bit, I don't need the, the grey for the mask, so I can delete it. I'm not, but I'm happy with the rest of it. So basically, you work down your drawings on your timeline, taking all the bits off that you don't want. Um, with the nose, I'm going to fill it back in again. So using my paintbrush tool and my Batman palette, I'm going to find the suit, first suit colour. And in my tool properties, uh, one of the options at the bottom underneath the presets is this draw behind option. So if I'm going to click on that, and then whenever I draw a new line, it will draw under, let's pick the Batman brush, which is down the bottom, to make sure that we're the same. And when I draw now with that on, it will drop behind the other drawing. And then I'm going to fill that back in again. So the chin, I just want the chin lump at the bottom here. So I'll get rid of all the other bits. And again, I'll fill this one in, but this time with skin. And you'll see again that, that drop behind the black line, like so. The mouth, so I don't want this bit. I don't want the chin, because obviously that's on the chin layer. But I'll keep that mouth shape. But obviously I now need to join these up. And again, there's a few ways of doing this. You can either just select the paintbrush tool and then draw in the, the gap. If you want to like that. Or you can use the contour editor, grab the last few points on there and just drag that across. It all depends on which one you think works for the Thing you're doing that's fine though and I'm going to fill that back in with the skin color so I'm going to again I'm going to work my way down just very quickly and just get rid of all the bits and then come back and show you the final result So I'm now coming onto the arms, and I thought I'd just stop and just mention how this works. Obviously, when you're sort of um, cleaning up your drawing, it's really important that you're thinking about the rigging. Now, obviously, with the arm and the hand, they're on separate layers. But obviously, when we move the arm, we want the hand to follow. Uh, but we also want the ability to just move the hand. Um, so when you're sort of cleaning up your drawings, you need to think about how it's going to rig. Um, so in this case, obviously, the, the hand blends into the arm here. Um, but obviously for clean up and for rigging we need this to be a finished arm um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my default colour just to finish off the arm shape obviously because this is currently 
um, like this. So I'm going to I'm using my light box here to see the under drawing. I'm just going to draw and kind of connect that up together there with the full outline color, and then I'm going to fill that in with the cape color, which will flow the suit color, color sorry, which will flow into the hand. And then later on in the rigging, I'll use an auto patch node to get rid of this mistake. Because obviously, we, we want this grey to flow onto the arm naturally rather than having a barrier in the way. So we'll get rid of this blob at the end here with an auto patch node. But that's how to do it for now. And obviously, with the rest of the arm, we'll go back to the suit colour and just fill it in just to make the just to add colour to it. Oh, I used the wrong one there. Hang on. Like so, so that arm is now ready. And I'll continue now. Okay, so I've now cut out all the pieces of Batman and sort of cleaned all the lines up so everything's ready. Now obviously he looks a bit weird at the moment because everything's out of sync. Uh, on the timeline, basically whatever is at the top of the timeline here is at the front of the camera and what was at the bottom is right behind the, or furthest away from the camera. So at the moment, for example, the cape is higher up in the, the list than the body, for example. So at the moment the cape looks like it's closer to the camera. But we'll sort all that stuff out later on. But just quickly again, I'll show you the final images of each part. So if we turn off the light box and I zoom out a bit, you'll see them come on the screen. So again, we've got starting with the eyes, which are obviously here if you, can, if you can't see them, and the nose, and then we've got the chin, the mouth section, his badge, the pointy ears on his suit, the different belt boxes on his belt, and obviously the belt itself, and then we've got his hand with a nice rounded off edge the arm, the other hand, the other arm, a foot, the leg, the cape, the foot, and another leg, and then obviously our original Batman drawing. So now they are all ready to go. There's one thing that I want to mention that's probably quite important to show as well, is that any areas where you're going to be using an auto patch, um, the colour needs to be uh, um, on the colour art layer, not on the uh, line art. So for example the arms and the hands and the legs and the feet we need to just go into that and take the colour so select the colour, copy and delete it and then go onto the colour art layer which is the um, C one on your advanced layers and then paste it onto there. So you'll still see the colour, it's still there but it's just separated out on that individual layer and then the same with the um, hand here, so there's the drawing layer select the line art, take the colour, delete it and then put it onto the colour art layer. So I'll do that on all of the four layers where we're going to have auto patches. Just very quickly. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so Batman is all cut out and cleaned up and ready for rigging. And that will be the next video. And that video will be a lot longer, where I'm going to go into a, hopefully a lot of depth with you, showing you how to rig this character. Like I said before, I'm going to be using some of the auto patch nodes. I'm also going to be adding deformers and that sort of stuff and getting him ready for animation. So it'll be quite an in-depth video, so well worth watching. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, quite a simple one today. But if you have enjoyed it, please do subscribe by clicking on the uh, red button on the screen. And if you would like to um, watch any of my previous videos, there are two examples above my head which you can click on as well. And if you have any questions, please do leave a comment. I will get back to you if I can. And or you can tweet me at Mr. John Taylor. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll be back next week with the rigging video. All right, bye for now.